Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control SC.L2-3.13.13, Control and Monitor the Use of Mobile Code. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all the CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SB-80171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload. Well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's dive in here. Okay, first thing to figure out is what is mobile code? Great question. Well, I've got an answer. Why do I talk to myself? I don't know, sometimes it's more fun when it feels like there's multiple people in my head. Mobile code is, uh, in this sense, is code such as Flash and JavaScript that can be moved from system to system and run without compiling. This makes scripts in these languages much more dangerous and vulnerable uh, because there is no compiling necessary. It just runs on execution, which is why it is very popular and attacks. So what's the solvency here? Two items, antivirus or endpoint management systems are often built to manage the risk. And then of course, firewalls that have advanced packet filtering, antivirus and other security features built in will scan this kind of code on its way into the network and recognize it as risky or vulnerable in most cases. For an exact answer, let's dive into what the assessors are looking for on this one. Two things they're looking for. One, determine if use of mobile code is controlled. In other words, do you have firewall policies or antivirus policies that are controlling what can be used when, et cetera. So uh, our sample answer is mobile code is controlled via firewall policies and endpoint management system policies. Again, in your endpoint management system, you're usually gonna find antivirus. Second assessment point, determine if use of mobile code is monitored. Uh, we'll say this, implemented firewall and endpoint management system logs are ingested into the SIEM solution for monitoring. That's right, we're gonna need our SIEM system to come on in on this control so we can determine if the use of mobile code is actually monitored. Yes, that's what's gonna send you the alerts. So hey, and on call, we work with defense contractors just like you to figure this stuff out. Because when you've had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped into your lap like a seagull on a sunny day, we teach you how to level up and be a proper on-call compliance hero for your company. Eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now that's what becoming an on-call compliance hero can do for you. Looking for more help getting compliant? Our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links that will allow you to get help right now. Don't wait six to 18 months to get this thing solved. You need it solved right now. And that's where we come in. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on the like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Or if you want the easy button, just give us a call or visit one of our uh, links in, in the bio below, visit one of our websites and self-schedule some time with one of our amazing certified compliance engineers. Calls free, never costs anything, anything to find out how we can help and it might just save you the next six to 24 months. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.